Hi, today I'm reviewing a book which says it's a textiles handbook. It's called Mixed Media and Found Materials by Lucy Renshaw. Now, this is a 96-page book um, published by AC, ANC Black. And it's about ooh, six inches wide by about nine inches long. Um, uh, it's not a very chunky book, as you can see. Now, if you've been going through my book reviews and you think that I'm always enjoying every book, um, this is going to be the exception to the rule. And my reviews are truthful reviews. Um, whether I am given the book to review for free or I buy the book myself, um, you will get an honest review from me. Um, obviously, it's um, subjective because it's my personal view. However, this book, you know, I'm all for recycling material. I'm all for mixed media art. But I must admit, as I went through this book, I felt quite horrified by the, um, by the projects in here. Um, in fact, I can probably quite honestly say there is not one project or picture in here that, of something that I would want to have in my house or I would even contemplating making and I would even go further to say that I can't even work out how I could tweak the things to make them better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what I do with all the books and do a quick flick through of the pages for you so you can get an idea of what's in here. You know, I feel that when we buy a book from um, a bookshop, we always can flick through a book. Um, but we can't do that with um, the books we buy online. So that's why I'm actually doing these reviews and that's why I like to flick through them. So the idea is to use found materials to um, in new ways. However, um, this was, wasn't a page I was going to show you, but I just found it and thought, oh, I've just got to show you this page. Because what it is is covering and wrapping cutlery with found fabric and it's not even done very well. It looks like they're just glued on together because you can see down the sides of the fork um, that the pieces of fabric are all frayed. And then the idea is to hang them in your kitchen. And I just think that's one of the most horrendous things I've ever seen. And, yeah, you can give me comments if you like and say, oh, you know, I love that look. Well, that's fine. That's up to you. It's a personal choice. But I can't see any, anything classy or um, even really quirky about it because I love quirky things. So, anyway, this is what it shows you. It shows you exactly how to make this if that's something you want to do. Um, another page. Um, shows you how to make two chairs into one with two different chairs and by cutting one down the middle and then adding them onto the side. Um, once again, I can't see any reason for that. It looks extremely uncomfortable. It, there's nothing classy about it. There's nothing exciting about it. It just looks like junk to me. And this one is covering a lampshade with fabric. And the fabrics are horrendous fabrics. And they've done the same with this poor old chair. You know, um, at least find some decent fabric. Um, something that's going to look nice. What about a navy blue and white stripe? And just leave it at that. Anyway, that's what this book is all about. Uh, I don't normally show a lot of pictures, so I'll just quickly show this one. This is another lampshade. Uh, covered in a cardigan, which is already buttoned up and added a whole pile of um, funny-looking uh, shirt sort of flowers, which look absolutely horrible. Um, so anyway, that's my review of this book. 
and um, if you're interested in it, you'll find it on Amazon. It doesn't have, it's been out since 2010. It doesn't have one single review. Um, but I said, you know, my idea is to review all the books uh, under the subjects that I decide to review. So that's my review.